<laughs> we did. This is gonna take some time. Nope, that's not right. <laughs> my student asked me why I work out so much. I answered to hide my feelings. The look of disbelief on his face was amusing. Really, he said. I thought you were going on wonderful dates all the time, enjoying the bachelor life. And I told him what every gym lover knows. The gym is therapy for the heartbroken. <laughs> It'll happen to all of us someday. Rejection. To survive true emotional damage, you need a strong sense of self. Let me illustrate with two different breakups. What's the most important relationship in life? First love, young, silly, toxic, immature, emasculating. I didn't do anything to take it seriously, neither did I try to salvage it. Second one, mature, patient, met the parents, ingrained with the friends, traveled everywhere, named our future kids, and tried my best to actually make this thing work. Which one did I actually recover from quicker? It was the second one, surprisingly. I'll tell you why. The first one I threw myself into because I had no strong sense of self. I lost myself completely in her. She became the only thing that mattered. It was just her and I in our crazy little bubble and nothing else mattered. When things ended, suddenly I had nothing because my entire world revolved around her. How could I structure my days now given that there's this huge, huge hole in my life? I had not taken the necessary time in my youth to really develop myself and as a result, it took me years to climb out of this darkness. I desperately needed therapy. I desperately needed support, but I was too proud, too broke, and too unsure of myself to really understand how to deal with my emotions. I was only able to truly move on once I developed ruthless confidence in myself as an individual, not as a partner. The second one came into my life at a time when I was peaking. I now have the coolest and most impactful job. I physically feel like I can do anything. I have great friends and family supporting my dreams and every day I truly enjoy. I'm in a spot where Manu can handle anything the world is throwing at him. But yes, I was still heartbroken when I was ghosted by someone who I thought was my best friend. Became desperate talking to her friends and family to find any sliver of hope to make it work. Gave every benefit of the doubt and multiple opportunities for closure or reconciliation. But I also knew for sure that I was not going to go down the rabbit hole that I experienced post-college. I wanted to react with anger and outbursts, but instead I dug deep into myself and replied with roses and letters. I channeled my pain into the most beautiful writing. The pen is mightier than the sword, or so they say. Because despite all of this, no meaningful response. I just wanted to know why, some feedback, so I could close this chapter and move on to be better. Just because someone likes you doesn't mean that they'll stay with you. That's where the Stoic philosophy helped me. The Stoic way to look at it is that there's nothing else you can do once you've exhausted all options. Just because someone likes you doesn't mean that they'll stay with you. Just because you reach out doesn't mean anyone owes you anything. A reply, an explanation, nothing. And quite honestly, there doesn't have to be a reason. Acceptance is key to moving on. I had given it my all, and my conscience was very, very clear with my level of communication. Both obviously hurt tremendously, but I'm at a point right now where I'm not losing any momentum in this thing called life. Relationships are great, but only a plus, not a must. You see, it's hard to be depressed when your life is awesome. <laughs> Despite the tragic start to this year, I'm having the most productive year of my life, which I think is saying quite a bit. I'm confident in who I am, what I want, and what is unacceptable no matter how awesome a person is. And part of maturity is understanding that you yourself are far from perfect. That's why it's imperative in moments like this to be understanding and forgiving, especially in cases when you feel that you're being wronged. To listen even more when things don't make sense. To extend your hand when you don't want to. Come on, you've rejected people. Does that make you a bad person? In the past, with the first breakup that I mentioned, I was an island. I was cut off from everyone and didn't feel comfortable talking to anyone. Imagine my surprise with the sheer amount of friends that allowed me to babble, talk irrationally, and complain and deal with my emotions forever. Because of them, I'm not reacting with hurt, but with compassion. I'm actually working on treating people with even more kindness, putting myself out there even more, being more vulnerable and loving. I'm redoubling my life mission to bring other people up. Believe it or not, I'm actually the voice of reason for a few of my friends that are going through tough divorces. Even when people 
direct negativity at me, I try to respond with patience and understanding to figure out what the root cause is of what's bothering them. I need to be strong for the people that depend on me. Lemonade out of lemons or something like that. Forgive because you won't be able to forget. Let go. Sounds brutally simple, but it is also brutally difficult. It's the key that we all know, but find so hard to do. In my opinion, the best way to do this is to create a lifestyle that you truly enjoy. If you can truly love life with or without someone, you're in a great spot. You have to get to liberation. Understand that you can love someone else and not compromise on what you want. You have to see that what you want can exist in places that you can't even think about yet and not only in the pain of the past. It's frightening, but you have to dare to find it again. Life is brutally short and you don't want to waste on someone that can't give you the time of day. Scars will stay. In martial arts, scars paint a picture of who you are and hopefully how you've grown and learned. I look back and I'm grateful for both the good moments and the bad moments. I'm better today because of all of that. But someone that doesn't respect you does not belong in your life. You may never understand the why of the other person, but that doesn't matter. You need to look inside yourself and understand your why. You are enough. The only relationships that make sense are the ones that are hell Yes, despite the difficulties, including with yourself. Be comfortable with yourself, love yourself, and not just be okay with being by yourself, but embrace it. The most important relationship in life is with yourself. This is an important message. Your baseline should be happy. I'm okay because I'm seriously pursuing my dream day in and day out. It's very hard for me to be low because I'm always up here. And of course those things will happen, but where I'm going again, as I mentioned, momentum is carrying me forward and making me look forward to every single day. If you're not there yet, it's okay. Feel free to reach out. There's a whole village here to support you. Okay, we're good.